Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and whether you like it or not, we've got another Kingdom Death release. I love Kingdom Death models. Uh, sure, they're overpriced, but they're one of the very few model lines that really get that look that I dig. And I don't just mean the over-voluptuous, curvaceous ladies, but they've got that certain, I don't know, manga-esque anime aesthetic going for it that very few other model lines really seem to capitalize on sadly. So today, uh, it, as tradition has it, it's like whenever I get a new release, I've gone ahead and posted another video, so you should be seeing those when this is <laughs> going up. No, they've already been up. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, so today we've got Barbarian Alistair and Lantern Armor Aya. I'm really liking that one. I know people have chided the design of her, but I don't care. So these are the photo resin models, meaning they are 3D printed. Thankfully, they're done on more high-end printers and with a better job than I am. You can see these are the collector ones. I know they have the resin gray, sorry, death gray or whatever it's called. I, I'm not a big worrier about that. I just want to paint the damn stuff. May not look good, but it'll get painted one way or the other. So you can see here, Barbarian Alistair. No fancy extra beta rules. The usual bases, we have the topper and then the holder, for lack of a better term. And they are 30 millimeter bases, just like it says. Sadly, we only have the black and white art. It would have been nice to have some painted stuff in there. I like having a nice color guide, but I mean, this is basically like Hero Quest Alistair. It totally looks like our barbarian friend from that. Let's see how many pieces. It always worries me when I see the little support pieces floating around in the bags, but thankfully it doesn't look like those are anything important. Can't knock the casting quality. While I do need to do a little bit of cleanup, that's always the case with these photo resin models. I'm going to be alright with that. I know people often like to complain about the scale creep that exists with Kingdom Death. Personally, I like it. It's easier to paint. It's more noticeable, the details, I guess, if you're a good painter. But it's also a little less delicate, too, I like. It's a little more robust. I've heard people complain about the quality of these being too brittle or whatnot. I've not had that issue, thankfully. Most of the ones that have been broken were broken to begin with. So... Okay, here we have the lantern arm. It has like little bracers on. Okay. We've got the lantern sword here. Gonna need a little bit more cleanup on this piece than the others. And finally the head. Some grimacy with what looks like some scars on him. Definitely a grizzled warrior. Next up, we have Lantern Armor Aya, which, come to think of it, he's carrying a lantern sword too, from the looks of things. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff in here, which is always fun. Thankfully, we've got the painted art. I like that. But it's the most complex small, same kind of bases. 148. Sorry, I didn't get any more number ones. Believe it or not, I've actually had three number ones. I've had some of these on the channel, and I've traded some away, painted some as well. I will let you figure out which ones are which. So, we've got the proficiency stuff here. These are all the, I like these little living glossary cards. Beta Armor Mastery. Find Lantern Axe. Soldier Lantern Cures. Okay. Well, let's see what I is made out of. Hopefully all of the pieces are where they need to be. Like I said, I just get nervous whenever I see little bits and pieces like that floating around. Makes me wonder if that was supposed to be attached anywhere. It's kind of pointy. You know, people online were complaining, oh, she's too thick. Good. Good. The easier to paint. 
I like it. I think she looks cool. Maybe I'm just easy to please. What can I say? I like the style of her. I mean, she does look really large in comparison to other models while I am trying to yeah but then again Kingdom Death has always had a bit of a scale issue so this is nothing new I will try to find some of my older painted Ayas I'm certain I've painted a couple at this point and her hands nothing exciting her refined axe. Was it a lantern axe or something I said? And then her regular lantern. So give me a sec. We'll get these guys and gals put together and we'll see how they draw down. And I'll go grab some other random painted King of Death models just because. Sit tight. Okay, we got our figures all put together. Not that they were very hard, but they came out quite nice. The only real difficulty I had was trying to line up the arm on Alistair here to make sure that it was actually kind of where the lantern would be so it was hanging directly down, if that makes sense. I mean, he could be holding the camera. The camera. I'm holding the camera at an angle. I meant to say his lantern at an angle. But overall, really nice. You know, he's obviously, besides being a barbarian, definitely inspired by both Conan and our hero quest champion on the cover art of the original game there. I like all the scars all over his body. And it's funny, I thought we'd grab some evolutions of Alistair here. Alistair being the skinny dude from the original Survivor set. You can see here the proportions are just so much thinner, smaller, and there's definitely been scale creep. This is the original Halloween Alistair from a couple years back in plastic. The Kingdom Death High Alistair. And then a bit more in line with this is the 10th anniversary Alistair. You can see here is both similarly proportioned to our barbarian one. I guess they'd make a, a good barbarian duo if you wanted to paint them up separately and use them together in game. Jamie didn't have any kind of special custom base, but I don't think we've really had any custom bases yet for any of the photo resin mod. Oh, I was going to say we haven't had them for any of the photo resins. That's not true. The smog drummer, I believe, had one, who I have not finished painting, but hopefully we will. I also had the Death High Intimacy male version here. I kind of painted him up like Alistair, but just for some various models to show off. I don't know if I ever mentioned, I was trying to draw the kanji, I think, for love on there, but anyway. So that's Alistair, he's cool, but I, I'm on, gonna be honest with you, my, my model I was really most interested in was this Aya. I know those proportions are controversial. I really like it. Not so much. It's just, I think, the way her body is, the, the hips jutting out there, it just looks really wild. But I like the thickness of this figure. It just, it's nice, chunky, easy to get a hold of, not super delicate. I've got plenty of delicate Kingdom Death and non-Kingdom Death models that, you know, are barely balanced on, like, one little tippy toe. And that's supposed to keep the whole thing stable. Well... I mean, she is going to have a little bit of difficulty with those heels, but I think it'll be okay. I don't think I've actually built any of my before-the-wall, after-the-wall Ayas. I mean, that is supposed to be the Aya model. I do have uh, the Easter Aya finished. An Oktoberfest Aya. But even then, I mean, she's just roided out in comparison with one of the other, the intimacy figure for Death High as well. I was kind of using her as a guideline, I guess, or at least the artwork. You can see she's just absolutely stacked. In terms not, you know, in a derogatory way, but let me see if I have the Barbarian. I think that's who it most reminds me of. Wait, is she even called a Barbarian? I don't even remember now. 
Here's some old school Kingdom Death for you. When we were having only traditional resins. This is the first of the generic models. I painted her many, many years ago. Pretty sure this was the first run as well. There were little worms crawling all over that uh, sewer back up. Blade of the Immortal style. But that's actually not the model I was thinking of. I was thinking of the Echoes of Death version of her. I think that's much more in line. I think these ladies will get along fabulously. Throw in the Paladin while we're at it. The big, chunky girls. I love that Paladin figure. Honestly, that's probably in my top five Kingdom Death models. Although I do really like this model, too. So I think Aya here is going to be in very good company. I am eagerly looking forward to painting her to the point that she's probably going to jump the queue in front of everybody and everything that I'm supposed to be working on. I am just really looking forward to getting this done. I think she's going to be a fun one to paint. So not not to you know diminish the the quality or coolness of Alistair, but she just steals the I she steals the show. I really like it. I know it can be a very decisive, de decisive, divisive. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It can be a hard choice. Some people like her, some people don't. But me personally, that's got to be one of my my new favorites. Oh my gosh, how can I forget this version of Alistair? His crimson crocodile costume. Yeah, good luck finding one of those. Anyway. We'll put that link down below. Who knows what's going to be in the web store for Kingdom Death. I know, blah, blah, blah. We're never going to get our gambler's chest. Someday, hopefully, before my kids are out of college. <laughs> I don't know. No, I know. It's, it's taken a while. But uh, on the plus side, at least, since these are the photo resin stuff, they do tend to pop back in every now and then at very irregular intervals. So if you're interested... There is a good possibility you will be able to get these two, so keep your eyes peeled. And with that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye bye.